Good morning, everyone. I always like to use Google Chrome for browsing internet, but recently I got some issues. So what happened is it shows your Google Chrome in managed by your organization. Okay. And when I open up, it doesn't go to default homepage. Instead, it comes search query content can be empty. Okay. Or search query can be empty. And when I type something without typing the correct web address, if I do the correct web address, it comes up, for example, as you can see, the Amazon open up. But let's say I want to just type something randomly, like Google, no google.com. At that point, what happens is it shows my browser. This is the nasty plugged in or extension that I'm not able to remove. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how simply that we can change it. Now, as you can see, there are three dots on the right hand side on the top, right? If you go to the settings, what would happen? Three dot, click here. Let's go to settings or extension. From here, as you can see, there are a couple of them. One of them from Google and I can remove it. As you can see, it says enable details remove. But the next one, which is on the right hand side, it says personal safeguard your browser managed by your organization, which is absolutely incorrect. And this is the main problem. OK, so what you need to do once you remove that one, that would resolve any issue with my browser. As you can see here, there is no option to remove it. OK, and even if you go to settings and then if you go to research settings, it doesn't even help. As you can see, there is no option. So now if you say why it happened, OK, I would say maybe you install any sort of third party software with had some sort of hooks or some sort of viruses. All right. And what it happened is it compromised the Chrome policy. When Chrome browser policy has compromised, you can see the extension, but you don't be able to delete it. Even sometimes it's going to say on the top of the browser, when you go to the settings, it says your browser managed by your organization. So how are we going to remove it? We're going to run Chrome policy remover. OK, so what it happened is the Windows batch file. When you run it, it removes any sort of any sort of command or writing top of the default Google policy. OK. So let's do that. And once it's done, it's going to give you back to your old Google Chrome, how you set it up. For example, the bookmarks, password, everything would be there. It's not going to affect anything. We need to download Chrome Policy Remover. So first of all, we're going to open up either with a different browser or whatever. And we're going to type Chrome Policy Remover Download. Once we do that, there is a site called hackerdose.com. Get in there and go down. Once you go down, as you can see, it says download policy remover. We need to click here. Once you click here, it's going to direct us to this page. We need to go a little bit down. And again, we need to click right here. And then we're going to download it for the Windows, which is that link. Click here. Straight away is going to download. As you can see, I downloaded it multiple times. Delete underscore Chrome underscore policies. And this is a Windows batch file. That's all fine now. We're going to run this as an administrator and everything should be fine. So let's try it. So let's right click on it and run as administrator and the batch file is going to run it might take less than a minute once it says press any key to continue we're going to press any key and then if you go back to the browser we're going to find out exactly how we left the browser without any virus effect or any bad ex extensions okay we're going to find all the shortcuts they created on the browser everything is at it as it is all right guys so if you have any sort of bad effect from the any extension 
and doesn't let you to uninstall it, this is the best way that you can try. Let me know how did you find yourself. And if you do like, please share this video. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.